executing commands via a compromised host through chat messages, it's happening. It's here. This is via Microsoft Teams through a little C2 server called Convo C2. New Red Teamers tool to execute system commands via Microsoft Teams. The Convo C2 tool operates by embedding commands into hidden span tags within Microsoft Team messages. These commands are then executed on the compromised host with the output cleverly disguised in adaptive cards image URLs. This triggers out a bound request to a C2 server, effectively establishing a covert communication channel. What makes this tool particularly stealthy is its lack of direct communication between the attacker and the victim. Convo C2 embeds its commands within hidden span tags. And then that is within Microsoft Teams messages. And then these commands execute on the compromised host and the commands are hidden in adaptive card image URLs. Here is a little diagram explaining it. The attacker at attackerorg.com message, hello, how are you? And then you input the command to send to the victim. Goes through Teams, message, hello, how are you? Up here, we have, hello, how are you? Text bubble, victim responds, hi, I'm fine, what about you? And then we have the MS Teams log file right there. Output executes the command. The workflow webhook request hides it, image underscore URL. So that's what team sees. And then we have that request going back to the attacker. So why is this different? Besides it being also cool, just in general, unlike traditional C2's Convo C2, avoids direct communication between the attacker and the victim. Instead, it obfuscates itself through trusted Microsoft servers, making it nearly impossible for antivirus solutions to detect. Security analyst Fabio Dinicolo, don't know if I said that right, observed that all HTTP requests from the victim are sent exclusively to Microsoft servers. Since most antivirus solutions don't scrutinize Microsoft Teams log files, the malicious activity often goes unnoticed. Now, this attack works on both new and old Teams versions, both on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And attackers don't need to be in the same organization as the victim, which, ooh, spooky. Commands execute even if the victim has not accepted the request. And Teams only needs to be running technically in the background to be able to execute commands. It doesn't even need to send a message technically, but sending messages is cool. So it's cool but you don't have to. You can just execute commands without them knowing. Now, to utilize this tool, red teamers need to, one, create a Teams channel with a workflow incoming webhook, muy importante, two, fetch necessary IDs and auth tokens, also muy importante, and three, ensure the victim's host is running Teams, even in the background. Muy importante, because this is all through Teams. Now, mainly to deploy Convo C2, uh, red teamers need to set up a public facing C2 server, create a Teams channel with a workflow incoming webhook, and then get the IDs and tokens. And then you can input your message and the command, or just the command, whichever one you want to do. You see the message, and then you attach the command to the message, as we saw in the diagram. So if you go back to this diagram, you can kind of how that works. The hello, how are you? And then the command based on the demo screenshot I just showed you guys. Now, just a disclaimer, this tool is supposed to be used for authorized red teamers in a controlled environments. Using it for unauthorized purposes is unethical and illegal. So don't do that. This video is for educational purposes only and to bring awareness for security enthusiasts like myself. Convo C2 shows how trusted platforms such as Microsoft Teams can be exploited for malicious activities. So continuous monitoring and robust security measures are always muy importante, very important for everyone all the time because Teams you can just be executing commands in the background. No one's going to know. 
So be continuously monitoring your software and things of that nature in your personal use and in your corporations. So that is it for this one. Make sure you guys like, turn on that notification bell, all the stuff that you usually do, and I will see you in the next video.